Hi guys, it's Susan from Two Paper Sisters. And um, last night at our birthday party, Beth and I were talking about how we were like dipping our toes into sensory rice. And so today I thought I would just show you guys how we're making it and then all of the like super cute things that I got at Michael's um, in order to make the sensory rice and the sensory bin so much more fun. Um, I actually I had so much fun at Michael's. I think the sensory bin thing might be more for me. Like it might be more for me as a mom to make something pretty than it would be um, really for my child to play with. Like I'm just being honest. So um, what I've got for you in order to make the sensory rice is um, we did two cups of rice at a time. So I've got my two cup measure right here in my little Ziploc and I'm dumping that right into my Ziploc bag. And then because it's two cups, I'm also gonna be using vinegar. And that vinegar, it's um, one tablespoon to one cup of rice. So since I have two cups of rice, I'm obviously gonna do two tablespoons of vinegar. So I'm just gonna, whew, that is smelly, 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 smelly. So there's my two tablespoons there. And then I thought I would make um, yellow rice because I made red earlier, like a pink earlier. So I thought I would do yellow for like spring. And that yellow, I'm gonna use this 1 8 teaspoon and I'm going to use the McCormick um, yellow in order to make the color. So I'm gonna do one set of 1 8 and a second set of 1 8. And then I just zip up the bag pull out all the air, zip up the bag, and I'm just like smushing it um, in order to get all the vinegar and the color all mixed up in there together. This is like when I made Play-Doh, I felt so guilty because, you know, my kids are, my son is 17, my daughter's 15, and my boyfriend's son is 10, and so, like, I mean, they're kind of past the stage, and so when I made Play-Doh, I felt like so guilty. I was like, hey, guys, I'm so sorry, I never made Play-Doh for you, and they were like, we don't it's fine we don't care but um this also is like super fun to make and um kind of sensory for me as well like with the rice and as you can see it just is becoming more and more yellow right which as i was making this i was like i guess i could have just used saffron rice um but anyway so here's this yellow rice and i've just got it all mushed up together and then in order to help with the drying time, because I have like no patience, I'm totally instant gratification type of person. So I had to Google to see if it'd be okay to put the rice in the oven, right? Because I can't wait. I don't want to wait an hour, 20, you know, a day for the rice to dry. So if you preheat your oven to 250 and then you have this little handy dandy bin, I didn't want to use my cookie sheets because I didn't really know what this was going to be like. So I just did tin foil tins, which I'll just reuse the whole time that we're making rice. And I lined it with paper towels to help, um, to help soak it up. Hi, if you're just joining, I am making sensory rice. Um, last night, my sister and I talked about how we were going to start adding physical products to our shop. And so one of the things that we're going to start order or start, sorry, adding is this sensory rice. And so I am making the yellow right now. And what I did was I put in two cups. I filled up my little two cup measure with rice, just plain regular white rice. And then I used two teaspoons of vinegar. And then I used two one eighths, which I guess is really two eighths, which is really one fourth of a teaspoon of the McCormick uh, yellow food coloring. And then I'm just putting it in this container here and I've just kind of spread it out. I don't know if you can see it. It looks actually a lot like saffron rice. And then my oven's already been preheated to be 250 degrees. And so I'll put this in for 20 minutes. Just throw that in there real quick. And I might have to add a little bit more time just depending upon what it's like. But when it's done, it looks like this. And it's like all ricey. So the really fun part of this for me as the person who's creating this is to make the sensory bin. So I made this one earlier today. Oh my God. Is it like so not the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen in your whole life? Like here's these little red felt hearts. I went to Michael's. I love that store. I don't know if anybody else loves Michael's, but I love that store. I got that. I got these little white flowers. 
I got these keys because, you know, Valentine's Day, key to my heart. I got these wood beads. Let me tell you something. I was looking around at wood beads and then I w walked through the jewelry section because, you know, why not? And there were these strings of beads, like they were all just on the, I don't know, plastic string or whatever. And so I was like, oh, instead of buying like this plastic bag of round wooden balls, which is basically what this is, I can just buy the beads and then cut the string off. So that's what I did. I put that in there. And then um, these little cards are actually from our shop. So I'm gonna drop those later today or tomorrow. And it's like this whole sheet. I also laminated today, which was also very fun. And so we made these little one inch square I spy cards. And so here's the shapes and here's colors and you would just cut them out and you would put them into the I spy bin. And so like here's some of the capital letters like because I cut out the five to go into the bin. So here's some of the capital letters that are here. And then this is the rest of the stuff that I got at Michael's. So like, right? I mean, really, like, right. Here's like these cute little um, green felt clovers. And then I got coins because of St. Patrick's Day. I was thinking like this yellow box would be St. Patrick's Day. And then here's these little um, fake dried, I don't know, willow tips. I don't really know what they're called. And then this little like gumball, but it's white. And then here's more of the beads and then more of the flowers and the coins. So I was thinking that if I were to put together this yellow sensory bin here, like I would do it as St. Patrick's Day. So I would take like my greens and I would just kind of like put them in here. And like, here's this one. And then I would do my coins, right? And then I was thinking like, since we have these coins, depending upon how old your kid is, we also have number cards. So you could decide how many coins you put in there and then you could have your child match. So, right? So for example, right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, car six coins. So I would put up to six in here. Three, six, two, one, right? Like you guys get the general idea. And then I could throw in some beads in here if I wanted to. Again, with the numbers, that could also work with counting. And then I could put in these little gumballs and I have this like cute little, oh, here's something that's really good and tiny for fine motor skills. This cute little sensory bin that's all ready for St. Patrick's Day. Then I also got these little guys from Michael's. It was like in the gardening section. Hold on, let me show you. It's like this gardening tool and then like, this shovel and this little brush, like, you know, like the sand things. And then like, here's the scraper that comes through. So if you have Montessori sensory bin tools, which we're gonna link to in our Shopify site, but so, you know, so you know what kind of get, but um, you could just have your child take their tongs and they're gonna practice picking up, I guess I need practice, <laughs> picking up the different items in the bin. Like this could be for your older kids and then they could also be picking up these coins and they could go, you know, get these little willow tips. I don't know what they're called. And then these clovers and like, here's my numbers. Oops. Maybe here's my, num here's my number. I just, it's a little slippery sucker. Remember in Julia Roberts when she like goes to um, crack that shrimp or clam or whatever out in it pops across the restaurant. Yeah, same thing here. So just lots of little fun, um, cute things that we thought we would start sharing with you guys about what we're gonna do with the shop. So like I said, I put in my story today, I put in our story today, the Valentine's sensory bin, and then here's like a little St. Patrick's Day or a spring one, and so we just wanted to share what's coming up next with us. So I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.